Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is 7 Cool Things That We Know About the Enigmatic Troll Priest and Priest Champion, Zabra Hex. He has a fascinating story with some intriguing gaps, and those gaps bring up some curious questions. Like a priest, only half the story is written in light. The rest will have to pry from the shadows. Number 7. Instead of being a more typical troll Loa priest, he learned about priesthood from reading books at the Scarlet Monastery. The first thing we see from Zabra is in the Ashbringer comic. Alexandros Mograine is at the Scarlet Monastery and finds a troll clearly very far from home. He grants him the chance to speak, and Zabra introduces himself. Many thanks, Lord. My name be Zabra Hex. I come here many months ago, only seeking shelter at first. But then I start reading the books in the library. I start to learn the ways of the light. I prayed and prayed with all my heart. I called out to the light. And do you know what happened? The light answered me, brothers and sisters. It opened my eyes. It set me on a new path. Number 6. Zabra's holiness was accepted by the Ashbringer himself. So after Zabra pleads his case in a super convincing accent, Mograine uses the age-old paladin trick of touching someone on the head to determine that the light has indeed blessed Zabra. He decides not to kill him, and it's a great day for everyone. But how and why did a jungle troll wander all the way up to Tiraspal? What was he doing there before he had to seek shelter in the monastery? Number 5. Zabra has his own action figure from DC Unlimited. In the action figure as well as the comic, he's wearing a fancy, more detailed, darker colored version of the Priest Tier 2 set. In true troll fashion, he has bare feet to go with his magnificent armor set. He stands over 7 inches tall, even with his considerable hunch. Because he's leaning so far forward, my Zabra really likes to fall on his face a lot. He's pretty lucky he hasn't broken a tusk. Number 4. He has an in-game tier set named after him. The first mention of Zabra in World of Warcraft is with the Horde Tier 9 Priest set, Zabra's Raiment. He's upgraded since his days of wearing Tier 2 with a stunning Horde-only set. Number 3. Apparently, he's a little absent-minded. Not unlike me a few times a raid tier, he lost his staff at some point during Wrath. While his tier set drops from Trial of the Grand Crusader, you can get Zabra's misplaced staff as a BOE blue drop off world mobs and dungeon trash in Northrend. This is the same staff that he's using in his action figure, and the troll design with the skull indicates that he went home for at least a short amount of time after becoming a priest and before leaving for Northrend. Number 2. He's an alchemist as well as a priest, and has come back to help fight the Legion. After being mysteriously absent for two expansions, he shows up on the Broken Isles in Asuna with new gear. He's wearing Tier 11 priest robes from Cataclysm with blue wad shoulders. He seems to have given up on finding his misplaced staff and just gotten a new one. Priests meet Zabra in Asuna and are sent to recruit him during their Class Order Hall campaign. The quest text sending you to him states that Vela needs a bright alchemist who can craft a vision-inducing extract. This means that Zabra has a reputation as a skilled alchemist. Supporting this, a closer look at the back hip of his action figure shows him carrying red and green vials. Number 1. Something mysterious happened to turn Zabra Hex away from the light. When he was last seen directly, the light had spoken to him and set him on a new path. Alexandros Mograin himself saw the light in him. Now, he's using the powers of Shadow to help fight the Legion. He's not just dabbling either, he's mind-flaying things and shouting, Gib into madness! So what twisted Zabra Hex's faith? The artifact quest chain for Zalatath has you poking around underground in Tearsfall Glades. That's suspiciously close to where Zabra Hex was wandering when he had to seek shelter at the Scarlet Monastery. Was his secret business there related to his eventual change of faith? So that's what we know about Zabra Hex. Personally, I'm a lot more interested in what we don't know. How did he get to the Eastern Kingdoms and what was he doing there? Where did he go between then and Legion? And what happened to his faith in the light? Was this an oversight by Blizzard when adding in class champions, or is there more to Zabra's story that we haven't seen yet? I'm really curious to hear what you think, so let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!